Ja, willkommen zurück mit der Speakers Corner. Wir hatten ein bisschen technische Probleme mit äh, einer Speakerin. Wir müssen gleich mal gucken, ob wir die dann nochmal nachziehen können. Aber ich darf jetzt begrüßen Tobi von Studying Pixels. Hallo. Und er wird seinen Vortrag auf Englisch halten. Now we switch over to English. And all I want to say right now is, um, the topic is studying pixels. We study games because we love to play. So it's your stage, Toby. Have fun, everyone. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, maybe we can see my slide. Yeah, um, it's saying there wild pixel con appeared. And I'm hoping that you're going to hear some sound from my slide. Is it possible? So Yeah, welcome to Studying Pixels, a game podcast or game studies podcast between game studies and game culture. And um, today I will explain why this thing and this thing perfectly works together and also what Studying Pixels is. Um, the wild pixel cone you have seen just a moment ago is our lovely mos mascot. Um, And my um, yeah, slides today will be like that I'm explaining to you what is game studies, because we are a game studies podcast. Um, also what studying pixels, our podcast is, and why you should start your own podcast, and how to start your own podcast. So it's not only advertising for our podcasts, it's also some kind of insight how you could do the same. Um, Yeah, as I said, Studying Pixels is a podcast on game studies and video game culture. And my name is Tobias Klöß or Toby. And I'm actually not a game study scholar. I am from the field of um, education. But I'm here today because I did a podcast called Pixel Discourse for around I am eight years from 2014 till 2021. One, so we actually survived the pandemic, um, and then we decided, hmm, let's do another thing, and let's do it in English. This is also why I'm doing my presentation today in English, because we have an English-speaking audience. And I'm also um, doing a lot of interviews. You can see me on the games core in the left corner there, um, doing one of the interviews. So this is my kind of job at studying pixels. and. Um, I'm, of course, not doing this alone. I have this lovely group of people um, I want just to introduce you to. Um, our chef editor is Stefan Heinrich Simon, who is uh, the host of the show and is doing this together with uh, Dan Hughes. And we are actually are an international podcast, so we have people from Germany and the USA as well. Um, and then there is somebody who is doing our social media, Friedrich Maria Sommerfeld and Richard Mertens is doing the lovely editing behind the scenes and is also appearing on the show for um, some horror game related content. Um, so, but before we go um, deeper into the yeah, podcast, um, I want to raise the question, what is game studies? Um, so the term game studies is used in English almost similar to ludologically, and it's about studying games or um, game-related topics. This could be video games, but also board games, um, but also things related to games like education. And I want to explain that um, with, the, with the game Assassin's Creed or the, the franchise. Um, you could ask, is Assassin's Creed, is it, this is just a game, right? But from the perspective of game studies, you could also say, hmm, maybe it's something which is connected to gender issues and gender roles. For example, there was a huge debate why we don't have a female character in Assassin's Creed back in the days. Nowadays, this is normal that we can choose or 
um, have female um, protagonists there, um, but also you can look at the game from a perspective of, um, fr from a historical perspective and say, okay, is this some kind of accurate um, presentation of the time frame or something like that, so you could have an historical approach. Also, you can relate it to politics and say, okay, maybe it's interesting to talk about the conspiracy theories in the game. So, Assassin's Creed is not only a game. And this kind of perspective on games, or why the study of games is important, started with um, Johann Hulsinger, who wrote a book, Homo Ludens. Homo Ludens is kind of referring to this idea of um, the human as a playing um, in individual in the in the creation or in <laughs> in the wildlife. I don't know. Normally we talk about the Homo sapiens, and um, Boisinger was like, okay, maybe um, the main characters characteristic of um, human beings are that we are playing. And because, I, as I said, I'm not a typical game study scholar. I'm actually looking on games from the field of education. I asked the scholars online and, for example, Felix Zimmermann said, game studies, it's you, it's me, it's people. So he's basically referring to this kind of community who is interesting in game studies and is talking about that. Also, for example, Rudolf Inders uh, said, um, digital game studies focus on upon the act of playing and its players, games as rule mechanics, aesthetic-based artifacts and the reception, and so on. Or Anna Gergen said, it's an academic field, disciplinary field that focuses on study of digital games. Or Eugen Fister said, mm, basically everything which is related to games nowadays is some kind of game study. So I also think of it as some kind of an umbrella term of the different disciplinaries which are interested in games. So, um, but why is it important? Of course, there is the economical argument, um, which is basically saying, yeah, okay, um, the games industry is more making more, more money than, for example, the film industry, or at least the same. So we have to talk about um, games because they are such a huge um, economic um, influence. Um, also, there is a cultural argument which is saying, yeah, games are art. As, as we ha have seen in the last presentation, you can look uh, from an um, yeah, art perspective on the art within the game, or you could say the educational perspective. Hmm, maybe games are something I can use for learning or for education, or as some other scholars are doing, it's like, okay, what happens when I, when I play a game? How does, does this affect, for example, my mental health? Does it uh, hurt it or not? Or the political argument, which is always like, mm, keep your politics out of my game, is some kind of, a, okay, this is just a game argument, but maybe they ask more about the games if we think from a political perspective and, uh, of course, the media studies argument, which is saying um, study of the media of, of its own sex. So game studies is actually playing a lot of games, but also reading a lot of books. So you can, of course, come from both perspectives. And what we are doing is to combine both, both um, parts of um, um, looking at games, the one thing is the game studies perspective, where we say, okay, we are interested, for example, um, in, in reading something and doing a reading episode, or look deeper into how God of War works, or into the question, uh, does a um, JRPG has to come from Japanese, uh, Japan, or is it possible to, to make a JRPG outside of Japan? Or, for example, one episode was about how 9-11 um, influenced games today. But, of course, we are also doing this classical stuff. For example, I was part of an episode where we talked about Return to Monkey Island and the question if it's a good game if it's uh, holding up to the old series or, for example, um, we talked about the end of the Google Stadia. So we are 
combining both worlds, the cultural aspect and the academic aspect. And as I said, um, I will tell you why you should start your own podcast. Um, in this kind of um, times where we are like on Twitter replying with very short sentences, um, it's possible to have a space and time for deeper thoughts, to, to learn from each other, to discuss something on a deeper level, and actually, which is most important for me, to connect to new people along the road. So, and how do you start? The, Main thing is to have a good idea first. So it's not about, mm, okay, I want to have a podcast, I want to be uh, visible around in the internet. It's important to know what uh, you're going to talk about. Why should other people care? And also, what is your kind of niche? For us, us it's this combination of game studies and games culture. But for example, another German podcast is Behind the Screens, which has a psychological perspective or Another German podcast, Stay Forever, talks about very old games or an international podcast also related to game studies. Game studies, game studies, study buddies is a podcast about game studies publications. They talk about them. And the next thing, if you have a good idea and want to start your podcast, it's important to find a group of friends. Somebody who is like, yeah, let's, let's going to do this. Um, and is very um, interesting in your topic as well and is willing to commit to your project on a regular basis. This is very important because um, you can um, overcome all the struggles around, um, along the road if you have somebody else very committed. And of course, without getting paid, because you are not getting rich with doing a podcast, um, it's something important to consider that this will actually cost you some money. Of course, you need the equipment. For example, you can start with something like that um, to record your podcast. Um, so the equipment is around between 60 and 300 euros. Also, you can use some free software, for example, Auto City or GarageBand and so on, but you can also, of course, invest in your audio quality, buy some plugins and so on um, to enhance your audio, and then you will maybe end up with also costs around 200 euro. And, of course, you have to um, yeah, publish your podcast somewhere, and we pay around 100 euro each year to keep the podcast running. So, this is basically a short introduction into game studies and into or to our podcast. And if you want to listen to it, you can um, go on studyingpixels.com and listen to the podcast there. But you could also as well go on Apple Podcasts, Spotify and so on and listen to it there. And you can see here our Twitter handle and you can listen to our outro. Thank you. So, and I will uh, be happy for every question. So, that's your podcast, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, abonnieren. <laughs> yeah, I've got a long uh, train journey to the south of Germany this night, so I, I think I will hear some, some episodes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the speech, for Thank the you. talk. So, are there any uh, questions here in the audience? I check up Twitch. Yeah. Um, what I didn't say yeah, yeah. is um, that we did like 230 episodes with Pixel Discourse back in the days, and we are now at around 50 episodes. So, I have kind of a little bit of experience of how we're doing a podcast. So, if somebody is interested in what are the struggles along the road, what is, what is um, important to consider, I'm very happy to answer. Yeah, that's a nice offer. Okay. Are there any questions? Yeah, here, we've got a question for, for that. Um, do you have, what, what is your favorite episode from your own post podcast? Ah, yeah, that's a nice <laughs> idea. Okay, just... Or, or uh, is that because I'm, I'm uh, often a bit uh, over, overwhelmed with, when the podcast has many episodes. Uh, where do you rec recommend uh, to start? Something to, um, yeah, an, an episode you're very proud of? Mm. 
One of the episodes I did was an interview with uh, Linda Liu Kass, who is a um, book author. She's like uh, a bestseller book author. That's one I'm proud of because um, this was very interesting because she's very engaged. So for me, the favorite episodes are always this like when you are able to talk to somebody who is very interesting and gives you some kind of um, insight you haven't had before. So. That's that's one um, thing, and oh, that's, that's do you remember the title of the episode? Uh, computer education. Uh -huh. with ah, I got it. Linda Leo Cars, I think. Linda Leo Cars. Yeah. Okay, so download um, next next feature, <laughs> next succession. Okay, maybe we should write Toby. So you uh, we. You're on Twitter, yes. right? Still and you find the podcast about studying pixels, and then you send an email to Toby, and he will write you what's the best episode. Um, how can 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 everyone um, write you and uh, say, "Oh, I I want to participate. Uh, I've got an interesting yeah. topic and talk about gaming, yes. gaming culture." <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, thank you very much once again, Toby. Um, that was a great talk. And I think also the, the offer for the tips to doing podcasts, that's really nice from you and the slide. I think it's cool to get into it, to do some podcasts. I can, I can um, yeah, go for it. And um, I, will, I will hear your podcast. I'm triggered right now. Thank you very much. Uh, warm applause for you. Thank you very much. And yeah, one little break. After that, we have two German talks. It's about a Minecraft challenge. And we talk about an eSports League. Both in German, beides in Deutsch. Wir kommen gleich wieder zurück nach einer kurzen Pause. Und wir sprechen über eine Minecraft Challenge, wo es etwas zu gewinnen gab. Und noch auch über eine eSports Liga aus dem Kreisjugendring Stormann. Kurze Pause, wir sind gleich zurück. Danke.